Hi, how are you doing? Um, so you are a B.Tech food engineering uh, student. Uh, so one of the, one of the most frequently asked questions is, look, I'm really disturbed that I can't find any prospects in India and hardly any college companies do placements uh, for for me. So um, how to deal with it? Let's see. Well, the option one is uh, go and grab a job outside, a foreign job, because in Europe, who are food exporters, there is great demand for food engineering. So you got um, really great opportunities outside India. So, uh, I mean, that requires additional efforts. Just because you finished an Indian degree, you are not ready yet. All nations except New Zealand, um, you need to do additional subjects credits. What that means is um, there is agencies who compare your uh, Indian degree versus the equivalent uh, foreign degree uh, and they tell you what to study more. So for those subjects, you need to enroll into the respective foreign university and complete such subjects and match the credit okay that your first effort your second effort this is applicable to all nations almost that you need to pass um, language proficiency test and lastly there are few country specific um, test also to be passed to completely eligible once you've done that, you do all these things along with your um, engineering uh, semesters, especially the, maybe the last year. Uh, then once you've done that, you also have to do the point D, which I'm going to mention below. Um, once you, uh, then uh, you will be called for online interviews by those foreign companies. And trust me, these are great jobs with great salary. Now, what's this point D I'm talking about? Well, once, you prep, once you're done with uh, C1 and C2, uh, you must uh, register under overseas employment websites under food technology or food engineering, uh, thereby you are contacting the companies. The company sees your Indian degree. The company also sees your additional credits that you took in their foreign university. You also pass IELTS. Put together, your resume is great. So they will definitely um, arrange or uh, impressed and arrange for online interviews. Now, where do you go? You got New Zealand all the way to UK. As I mentioned here, it is increasingly difficult okay so New Zealand uh, on the other hand is a great news is that they organize Indian degree courses so that means your need for additional credits and studying online in foreign universities is, is not required okay but if you want to go to UK USA Canada things like that or including Australia you need to do additional credits it's not just the additional credits, every step involved will be more difficult uh, compared to New Zealand. Um, please note that most European nations except New Zealand plus USA, they don't recognize Indian degree. Mostly they recognize engineering or MBBS equivalent to their diploma course. Okay. So the option one is great. If you really like it, go for it. On the other hand, your option two is that you are not someone interested to go abroad. You want something local. Uh, the chances are that um, with your B.Tech and en uh, food engineering, you may find jobs uh, in India also, but very limited, mostly in the uh, Maharashtra, Gujarat, Kurgaon, and all that places. 
um, okay now option two is if you do the mtech you can get teaching job in engineering college so these are the two options i am saying it okay i'm done here disclaimer all the best